we want to simplify the given cube roots. First we have the cube root of 128x. To simplify, we need to find the perfect cube factors of 128x. To help us do this, let's determine the prime factorization of 128. 128 is even, and therefore it's equal to two times 64, where two is prime. 64 is equal to eight times eight. Eight is equal to four times two here as well as here. Two is prime, and four is equal to two times two. One hundred twenty-eight is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven factors of two. Let's write this as the cube root of seven factors of two, and then we also have a factor of x. And every time we have three equal factors, we know we have a perfect cube. Two times two times two is a perfect cube here, as well as here, and therefore this will simplify. The cube root of two times two times two or two cubed is equal to one factor of two here, and then we get another factor of two here, and then we're left with the cube root of two times x, which is two x. The simplified expression is four times the cube root of two x. Next we have negative two times the cube root of 243 x to the eleventh. To help us determine the perfect cubes of 243, once again let's determine the prime factorization of 243. 243 is equal to three times 81. If you have a hard time determining two factors of 243, if we add the digits, two plus four plus three is nine, because nine is divisible by three, so is 243. And three is prime, 81 is equal to nine times nine, and nine is equal to three times three. Here, as well as here, the prime factorization is five factors of three. Let's write the given expression as negative two times the cube root of five factors of three. And then we have x to the eleventh. We know x to the third is a perfect cube. Let's see how many x to the thirds are in x to the eleventh. So if we have x to the third times x to the third, that would be six factors of x. Remember when multiplying, and the base is the same, we add the exponents. If we multiply by another x to the third, that would be nine factors of x, and we have 11 factors of x, so we have two more factors of x, and we're left with x squared. And now let's circle the perfect cubes. Three times three times three is a perfect cube here. X cubed is a perfect cube here, here, and here. So simplifying, we have negative two times the cube root of three times three times three or three cubed is equal to one factor of three. And then the cube root of x cubed is equal to one factor of x here, here, and here, giving us times x times x times x outside the cube root. And then we have times the cube root of three times three times x squared, which gives us nine x squared. And then finally, negative two times three times x times x times x is negative six x cubed, and then we still have the cube root of nine x squared. This is a simplified cube root expression. I hope you found this helpful.